evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Atchley. And I'm Stella Inger. Major news today for American troops and for our local economy. The Secretary of Defense said the A-10 has been such a powerful tool in the fight against ISIS that plans to retire the warplane are on hold for another six years. This after strenuous efforts of current U.S. Representative Martha McSally as well as her predecessor Ron Barber. And as Kagan Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith reports, the A-10 is a huge part of the local economy. More life for the A-10 is good news for the local economy, but bad news for ISIS. The plane is built around a huge gun meant to slice open tanks. So to an A-10, almost anything else is a soft target. Troops on the ground love the plane because it can fly low and slow enough to tell good guys from bad and make sure the bad guys have a bad day. As a former A-10 and squadron commander, Congresswoman Martha McSally has been fighting to keep the A-10 in the air. She is looking past the A-10's new 2022 retirement date. It's just six years away. I've been advocating that until we have a suitable, proven replacement to keep our troops safe, that we need to keep the Warthog flying, and I'm going to continue to lead that fight. The A-10 helps protect southern Arizona's economy, too. As the main mission at Davis-Monthan, it keeps the base open and active. DM's own analysis says the base puts almost $1.5 billion into the local economy through the impact of military and civilian workers, plus military retirees attracted by the services the base provides. Provides. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Tonight we are learning a Tucson.